If you would like to see how I made this DIY lip gloss, filled the tubes, and added the labels, keep watching this video. So today in this video, we are going to be making some lip gloss. So I already did a video about everything you need to make lip gloss, but if you didn't see that video really quickly, we do have TKB Gloss Base. We have castor oil, we have grapeseed oil, then we have a little organizer here to set everything up once it's filled. We have these 100 milliliter syringes that can be purchased on Amazon. Actually, both of these came together, they were $7.99. The lip gloss tubes, I have 30 of these, and they were $22.99 on Amazon. The bowls came from And the flavoring oils we're going to use are strawberry and cherry, and these came from Amazon, a pack of four. They were about $8.99. Okay, so we're going ahead and get gonna go ahead and get started. I'm assuming that I can make two separate um, just I just want to fill up six tubes a piece. I'm not trying to do anything real big. I'll do everything else probably off camera. So you're going to go I'm ahead. I'm going to be using green mica powder, also purchased from Amazon, and gold mica powder. Okay, so what you see me doing here is adding the VersaGel to a clean, sanitized glass bowl. And I'm just gonna fill this up an even amount just so I can make just enough for about six or seven tubes per bowl. So you just wanna go ahead and squeeze a hefty amount into the bowl. and squeeze another hefty amount into your other bowl. And I'm going to be making two different flavors of lip gloss, two different colors. So that's why I have two separate bowls to keep everything separated. And to make sure that you have all of the VersaGel out of your little pouch, you just want to keep going through and squeezing it. Fold it in half and squeeze it. Cut it open and squeeze it. You don't want to waste any product. Just make sure you get all of your VersaGel out. lip gloss base, which is called VersaGel, poured into our bowls, equally poured in each one. Now we're just going to add some grapeseed oil. oil with a few teaspoons full of the oil just to get the desired consistency. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with five teaspoons. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to stir. It kind of puts you in the mind of slime, but it's nice and thick. But you just want to keep on stirring. And if it's still really thick, you just go ahead and add some more oil. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of the castor oil. And however you do your measurings, it's up to you. Um, as long as you remember how much you put in, or if you want to eyeball it, that's fine too, but it's good to be accurate and know how much that you're going to add so you could do that for future reference. 
Okay, so they both have been stirred. And you just wanna keep stirring and adding the oils until you get your desired um, consistency. You may want it to be on the thicker side or the thinner side, that's completely up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the mica powder. I'm going to add the green. And you'll add that based on how much pigment that you would like to have. I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle just like that because I don't want this to be too dark. I just want it to be like a gloss with a hint of the color added. And now I'm going to add the gold to this side. And you can keep adding based on the desired amount that you'd like to have. Then you go ahead and give that a stir. And that's very pretty. It's like a pearlized green. Very pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir up the gold. And you see, I just put just a little bit in there, so a little definitely goes a long way. So keep that in mind. You don't wanna overdo it. You can always start out little because you can always add, but you can't take away. Now we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of flavoring oils. And they smell really, really good. Like, really good. Careful, it spills out just a little bit. Okay, just a couple droplets in each one. The flavoring oil has darkened up the green a little bit. So if it does that, if you want to add a little bit more green to get it back to where it was, that's fine. And let's see how the gold looks with the flavoring oil added. Very nice, deep, it looks like honey almost. So keep in mind that the flavoring oil color can stain the color that you originally now had we're in the bowl. Now go ahead and start to fill up our tubes. So you want to cut your tube right here and right here and wedge that on as far down as you can get it onto your syringe. Cut here and here. Okay. And you do the same wedge that right onto your syringe. Make sure you have some clean paper towels around because it helps to hold a paper towel right here so this doesn't start to slide off.
you'll go ahead and enter in your pipette into the lip gloss so you can fill it up now I'm going to go ahead and get a clean sanitized tube place it all the way down and go ahead and squeeze it so we can fill it all the way up Make sure it's nice and full, and you'll complete that step. This is just a little warning to make sure you do not overfill your tubes. That's the issue I ran into. You'll see later on in the video, I did have an issue with that. I overfilled them and the stoppers wouldn't go in properly and they kept popping back up. It was such a headache. So you won't have this problem because you'll watch this video and know not to do that. Do not overfill the tubes. Leave a little bit of space so it doesn't have so much pressure built up so that when you put your wand in, the stopper doesn't pop back out. Thank me later. Go ahead and add on your little plugs, your little lip gloss plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on just like that. Add your lip gloss tube, close that up, and put your top. Okay, right here is where I ran into an issue. I tried to put this in here and it was like something was just holding me back. I cannot get it to close because I filled them up too much and the pressure built up inside. As you can see, I'm trying to push down the stopper, but it won't go down. Overfill your lip, lip gloss tube because it will be hard to put the plug inside of it. You want to leave a little bit of place so it doesn't build up too much pressure. If that happens, you just press down firmly if not, you may have to take a little bit okay, of the lip gloss so out. Here so here are the lip glosses that I made. For this video, I just wanted to do a couple of them. Um, the little problem that I did run into, I overfilled the tubes. So as I was trying to put inside the wands, the little, no, as I was putting in the stoppers and then trying to put in the wands, it just kept popping back up. It was so annoying. So make sure when you do fill up your tubes, leave a little bit of room. I don't like how that looks like it's empty. I don't like how it looks like it's some lip gloss missing. But also, I think air pressure kind of built up in the tube. When I was sucking it up from the bowl, I could hear some air going into it. So make sure you eliminate air going into your syringe. And if you do happen to overfill your lip gloss tubes, just go ahead and just take a little pinch back out so you can have room and you won't have the issue of the stopper um, popping up. But I took some out and it seems to be working fine now. So these smell really good and they have a nice little flavor. So the flavoring oils are really nice. But like I said, be careful how much you put inside because it will add a little tint to the color. This color was originally a lot darker green, but I do like this mint sea green type of look. Then you'll have to, um, well, look, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the bottles down. And then also, I'm going to wipe them off with, you know, they're a little greasy. So I'm going to wipe them off with some alcohol so I can put the labels on them. But let me just say this. 
I um, made a little sample tube for my daughter and we tried the lip gloss out and it made my lips feel really extremely soft and smooth. Now I'm the type of person I have sensitive skin. And when I wear lip gloss, for some reason, it don't matter if it's MAC, $20, uh, Clinique, it don't matter who the lip gloss is made by. Victoria's Secret is the one I kind of use that doesn't do, do it as much. But my, especially for some reason, my top lip gets really, like it stings a little bit when I put on lip gloss. So I always, 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 always have to put on some type of Vaseline on my lips first, then I apply lip gloss. So I was like, let me just test this out and just see how this does. I was so amazed because I didn't do that with this. I just put it straight on, you know, just to test it. Cause when you make a something for somebody, you want to test it out and make sure it's, it's good. You don't want to make it sure it's legitimate. You don't want to just put something out and it's garbage. You don't want to do that. Cause remember, if you're running your own business, you are customer service. You're going to have customers and they're going to want to be serviced if they have an issue. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Yeah. That I bought off Etsy. So I do want to show you how I at least put one label on here. Because I think it's a nice appeal to have labels on your lip gloss. And these are really greasy. So you want to make sure you wipe them off really good with some alcohol. Plus that's just a part of doing some extra sanitation anyway. So just go ahead and get these wiped off. And this little um, lip, lip, lip gloss or lipstick organizer was only $7.49 off Amazon. And it's very helpful to just have them standing up in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take off these gloves. I wiped everything off. My hands are washed and cleansed. I'm not gonna be able to pick up the label with those gloves on. Okay, so these are the labels that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and take one off and show you how I apply it. So it's just a little clear label. And let me see, can you see that? It says, Royal Radiance, embrace your sparkling beauty. Make sure that's dried off from the alcohol. Then you just want to go ahead Line that up like That's that. That's your labeled lip gloss. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how I just put one on of the gold tube. Press that on nice and firm. Because if you have it too oily, it's not going to stick. So make sure that you have all the oil removed from the bottle. And there's that labeled lip gloss. So it just looks much better to have a label on the lip gloss. Like I said, I did order blank labels to put at the bottom. I just have to go ahead and figure out how to print them out. Um, I usually have labels already named, but I'm still in the process of naming these. And these gonna, are gonna be a limited edition on the website. They'll look different than this. Um, once they're on the website, you'll see what I have in store for these. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the video, how to make lip gloss. Thanks for watching. I hope that you did receive some, some inspiration. inspiration. Go ahead and get your own lip gloss business started for your daughter or for yourself, whether you're 10, 9, 20, or 30. Hopefully you received some good information from this video. Also check out my other videos, how to sanitize lip gloss tubes, and my other video, everything you need to get started with your lip gloss business. Thanks again for watching. I just recently launched a website for my daughters. It's called MyRollRadiance.com. If you want to support that or check that out, go ahead and head over there. There is a 25% Black Friday discount um, going on today. Actually, today is the 27th of November, 2020. So that Black Friday discount is going on now, 25% off. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.
And if you're still here, God bless you. I'll have a video later on on how to take your lip gloss to the next level like this.